everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So here is the long-awaited account tour video. I do one of these in January, and then I do another one in June. And I just uploaded the uh, Rank Up, Mystery Rank Up Theater video. So we're good. Now, of course, in July, my account may change. We'll see what the offers look like and all of that. But for now, I'm going to show you guys what my account looks like. So uh, we're going to start with the Summoner profile. You can see my total base hero rating. Uh, that can tell you a little bit about my rank ups. I like ranking up champions. Okay. So I've got a lot of champions ranked up. Um, my prestige, you can see that. Um, this is not, uh, Claire is not my top prestige champion, but, um, this infamous Iron Man is, he's SIG 200, uh, rank five. All right. We'll talk more about those. You can see my top relics. And you can see here my stats. The only one to uh, note is the PVP fights one. That is how I earn units. I do not buy offers. I am in the arena all the time. Uh, in fact, right now, I've already finished all the arenas currently. Okay, so uh, we can look over here at my mastery setup. Um, I do have a video where I talk more about it. It has not changed in years. Uh, I run the Ouchy Masteries, you can see in the upper right-hand corner. And I do run Deep Wounds uh, 5 out of 5. And that's mainly for Nick Fury, but I do have other champs that benefit uh, from that. Over here in my defense, you can see here... Uh, what I do here, you can see I'm maxed out in coagulate and willpower. And then in the proficiencies, there you go. I haven't changed this in years. Okay. Now, let's go back here. And the last thing I want to show you guys is my tit my titles. And you can see I have Elder of the Universe. I love that one. And that one means that I logged in during anniversary week and the account is at least six years old. And I also have Celestial Being and the account is at least seven years old. All right. Um, I forgot I used to run this one back when my account was only four years old. Uh, you can see the theme. I love the ancient one, um, elder of the universe. I, I love those, uh, types of, uh, titles there. Okay. So the account is over seven years old. That's how long, uh, I've been with uh, Marvel contest of champions. All right. Next, let's um, take a look at my progression. So over here, my story progression. Story book one, as they call it. I'm fully explored. Okay. Fully explored. Story book two. I am also up to 8.2, fully explored. I've done all of Act 7, and only Act 8.2 is out currently. 8.3 is in beta right now, and it will be coming soon, and I will jump on that one as well. Okay, so I'm completed full exploration of all the story content, uh, that is out currently. All right. Now, the next uh, progression 
We'll go over here for a uh, special uh, quest here. This Shooting Stars event is, um, or not event, but the, let's see here. Uh, this content came out when the Seven Stars were released. And I fully explored this one. Then we have the Grandmaster's Gauntlet. Now, I have done all of the Grandmaster's Gauntlets that I can do. Um, it doesn't show 100% because if we go in here, let's see if we can look at it. Um, you can see here, I've already completed it. However, see here, I have not done every single path. There's not much to do. I did the path that had all of the rewards on it. So I just haven't done those little pieces there that you see. That path was different. Maybe one day I'll do it. But I've done all of them and got all the rewards that I can get uh, from it. We've got Eternity of Pain. 100% did all of that. I did not do Grief Incarnate. Grief Incarnate is basically doing everything all at once. So in Eternity of Pain, you could do multiple uh, runs, which is what we did. And we also did the Karina challenges at the same time. But in this one, and maybe I'll do it one day. I don't know if I'm bored. Um, you have to do everything all at once, straight through. No stopping. And if you want to see the comparison, what you normally would do is this. So we only had one, two, three, four fights. Then you got to switch out one of your champions, and then one, two, three, four more fights, and then the boss. But in that one, it is, you got to do every single fight one shot. And like I said, I might do that one day. Abyss of Legends. Have not done a single one. I have not gone in here at all. It looked boring, and I didn't really care. Uh, maybe one day, I mean, seven stars are out now. So maybe one day I'll go through the Abyss of Legends. I don't know. Still doesn't look exciting to me. And then, of course, all of these are fully explored. I did Road to the Labyrinth, Labyrinth of Legends, and Realm of Legends um, before even the Abyss of Legends was out, or Eternity of Pain, or the Grandmaster's Gauntlet, or Shooting Stars. So I've done all except the abyss and again one day i might do that we shall see okay so that is my progression now let's take a look at my champions so i love this new feature here you'll be able to see how many i have of everything okay so uh, we're going to start with the seven stars and I'm going to put owned here. All right. So as you can see, I have eight. Eight seven stars and Wiccan is duped. I really would have rather have nine seven stars at this time, but that's fine. Uh, and I have some pretty good ones. Wiccan is actually good. And I like him awakened. Elsa Bloodstone, I love her. Mangog, most recent edition like him, love him. He's going to be great for defense in Battlegrounds for sure. Dragon Man also is naughty, naughty, naughty in Battlegrounds. Then we have Domino. Even unawakened, she can be a terror. But I do have the six star at rank three only since I got the seven star, which is one of the best pulls from the seven star initial pool. Um, My six star rank three is sig 200 and she gets me some great wins in battlegrounds but even unawakened domino can be a beast 
All right. Then we've got Bishop, another banger of the initial seven star pool. And then War Machine, who was my first seven star, almost cried because I was afraid I was going to keep getting War Machines. Don't ask. Uh, and then we got Spider Gwen, who I've always liked, even before she was reworked. All right, so that is my seven-star roster. Now, let's go ahead down and look at my six-star roster. And we're going to start with my rank fives. I only have three of them. Uh, and you'll see that they're each a different class. So Black Widow Clairvoyant, I use her so much, and she is my favorite mystic. Had to do it. Infamous Iron Man is a beast, and his prestige is good. He actually is great on defense and offense. I'm sure I've had some people look very crazy when I beat them in Battlegrounds using Infamous Iron Man on offense. He can be a terror, okay? Uh, and then we have, of course, my boy Hercules. Now, Hercules is OP. We know this. Some people hate that. They think he's bad for the game, blah, blah, blah. But one thing that I am pretty sure of, and I could be wrong, is that they're not going to put him in here as a seven star. So this is going to be the most powerful Hercules is going to be for a while. Uh, maybe they'll make him an eight star. I doubt it. So I may as well take him up to rank five and use him, you know, as much as I can until they keep on countering him with different champ abilities and nodes and things like that. They're doing it. I'm not surprised. So by the time you watch this video, um, you might already see this fulfilled where they have a lot of things because he already his immortality is just a buff so it can be nullified. But you have uh, Danny Moonstar, which is a hard counter to uh, Hercules and, I believe, Nick Fury. All right. Now let's uh, go to my rank fours, and I have 21 of them. These rank fours are like my workhorses, okay? I'm not taking anybody to rank four that's in the current seven star pool but some of these i already took up before we even knew what the initial seven star pool was okay but kitty pride beast mode okay she's probably going to be my first rank five mutant we got dr doom he is a beast he is awesome i don't use him a lot because i run the recall masteries and i don't know I, i'll sometimes use him and and he's great but I just prefer, um, you know, Claire. Silver Surfer was mainly for prestige, but is a beast. Omega Sentinel is awesome on offense and defense. All right, we got Nick Fury, beast mode, okay? Love Nick Fury. Quicksilver, love Quicksilver. Basically, all of these champs that you see here are champs that I love and I use often either on Alliance War Defense or Alliance War Offense or Alliance Quest. But these guys are awesome. Hulkling is a beast. Warlock, crazy. Valkyrie, hey boo. Uh, Diablo, Scorpion, Nebula, Null. Um, my path is a diss track in Alliance Quest. And Null is awesome for that. And then we've got my boy Hitmonkey, Beast Mode. He be tearing it up. Absorbing Man, Gallon, awesome. And then we have Hulk, who is in the seven-star pool. And so is Overseer, but I took them up before I knew the pool. But I'm happy because I get the use out of them anyway. And if I can get one of them as a seven-star, I'm happy. Okay, but if I don't, I'm good. These rank fours will do me for a while. Then we've got Kingpin, Beast, Beast Mode, uh, Spot, good on offense and defense. And then we got Titania. So some of these, like I said, Titania, I didn't know what the initial pool was. But 
I do not regret any of these rank ups. Okay, Scorpion. Woo wee. He's probably going to be my first uh, science, but it's going to be between him and Quicksilver. And maybe Spot. I don't know. I like all three of them. So I don't know at this point in time. It won't be Hulk because he's in there as a seven star. Same thing with Overseer. All right. Next, we've got my rank threes. Okay. So these are champions that I potentially was thinking about rank four. Some of them are not going to go past rank three anytime soon. Okay. Any of these, like for example, Domino, I'm most likely not taking her to rank four right now. Now I might. Because a rank four domino is probably going to be more useful to me currently than an unduped seven star domino. But it'll have to wait until there's more uh, rank four materials coming into the uh, game. All right. Elsa Bloodstone, not taking her to rank four anytime soon. I will use the seven star almost every time over this one. Okay. Uh, Ebony Maw. So you can you can see all of them. Thing, uh, he may go to rank four. So some of these, if they're not in the seven star pool, I may take up Wiccan. He's not going anywhere. All right. Uh, Nimrod may go up. Iceman may go up. Uh, Guardian definitely. Uh, Mangog no, because I just got him as a seven star. Um, some of these were rank ups for defensive purposes in battlegrounds. Okay. Ghost, who I still love. I just never felt the need to take her to rank four. And I don't really use her a lot these days, but she's still awesome. Uh, Ultron may go up. Uh, Penny Parker may go up. Um, Let's see, Spider-Man Supreme, I think he's in the seven star, so no. Um, no, Human Torch, probably not. Some of these were also just fun rank-ups. Now, um, Spider-Man Stark Enhanced is a fun rank-up who may go up. He definitely may go up, okay? Um, Mole Man may go up, Mantis, I don't know. I don't know. Bishop, no, because the seven star, yeah. Um, yeah, he's not going up. Anytime soon, anyway. And you can see I have enough uh, resources to take someone to rank four at this time. And I'm waiting because I may be able to get a, another rank five. So I'm kind of waiting on that. All right, so there we go. Uh, 85 rank threes. That's how many rank threes I have currently. All right, now for my rank twos, none. Because these days I'm waiting until I can take someone from rank one all the way to rank three. I don't stop at rank two anymore. So I have no rank twos. So when I'm grinding in the arena, I'm just grinding my rank threes, my rank fours, and my rank fives. And that's all I need to get all the milestones. I don't even need to go through all of them. So my rank ones, those are the ones right now that I'll probably take to rank three eventually. So here we go. Here are my rank ones. And you're going to see some good champs in here. Some of them will be going up. Um, Terax, for example, I was waiting until I duped him a few more times. But I want to take him up. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of champions uh, that I want to uh, rank up. Uh, Red Guardian definitely is going to eventually go up. Mr. Negative will probably go up. War Machine ain't going nowhere. 
Um, but yeah, you can see here some champs that probably, I just don't use them. It's not that they're horrible, but I just don't use them. But some of them I'm definitely going to take up if for only Battlegrounds. Super Scroll is good for Battlegrounds, okay? Um, now, here you have Shuri. That's an interesting one. She just got a rework. She's good now. Every time somebody would ask me, how good is Shuri? I'm like, um, she's cute. Well, now she's cute and she's actually pretty good. However, she is available as a seven star. So I may take this Shuri up to rank. Um, I may take her to rank uh, three, maybe. But uh, we'll see. I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of champs here that will go up eventually. Agent Venom, I saw some videos with him and um, a Synergy, and he was killing it. Wow. Um, but yeah, so I have champs that I'll go up. Psycho Man ain't going nowhere. Um, Howard the Duck is most likely not going anywhere uh, anytime soon. Uh, Thor, OG Thor, I'm going to take him up eventually. Jabari Panther. Uh, I actually like her. I'll probably take her up uh, at some point in time. Wong, probably take him up. Uh, Guillotine, I like Guillotine. Probably take him up, uh, her up. Uh, Long Shot is actually pretty good, especially in Battlegrounds. Um, I don't know. Doctor Strange needs a rework. Joe Fixit is probably going to go up um, eventually. I don't know when. Um, Void, one of these days I'll awaken him and I'll take him to, uh, rank three for sure. Uh, and I could awaken him now, but I'll wait. Moon Dragon, I don't know how good she is. I got her. She was the first six star I grinded for in the new revamped arenas, top 400 instead of top 100. But I don't, I don't know. I don't know how good she is. All right, and there we go. So I have 105 rank one six stars. All right, so 214 total six stars is what I have for my roster. All right, now, um, before we end it, just show you real quick, like I was talking about with the arena already, I'm done, 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 okay? I do all the arenas every single time, get all the milestones every single time, all right? That is how I um, keep up, all right? So that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hopefully, this answers all your questions. Uh, leave a comment if you have any other questions. Uh, I'm trying to think. I went through my profile. I went through my progression. Uh, I even went through my mastery setup, some of my titles. Um, I can't think of anything else. Oh, back issues. I have not done variant eight. And as you can see, I didn't really do the classic version. Um, I'm saving those because they have like uh, units in them and, and some revives. But I've done all the variants except eight. And it's going to be so easy when I do finally get bored enough to do it. And I might. Uh, I might uh, roll through it on a stream one of these times. I don't know. Uh, I'll probably do uh, an initial clear and then um, make some videos on it and then do exploration live. It should be very quick. We'll see. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Take care. Um, hold on. There is one other thing. Can I do it? I am Paragon.
if you guys, uh, let me see, book select. I keep wanting to hit that um, for the progression, but I'm Paragon. I wonder why they have that like that. You see that little icon in the upper right-hand corner? I would love to be able to just click that and see it, you know? Let me see. If I go to continue, um, yeah, I'm not sure. How do they, um, because it's not something that I really pay attention to. Here we go. See, it's the same icon, but it doesn't work on those other screens, but it works here. So here we go. Paragon. So you can see my current uh, progression, 8.2. Point six, finish that one. All right, take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. If you have any questions, let me know. And you all have a blessed day.